Uh, young. Uh, I was told that um, Mr. Melnick has uh, been suspended, and I don't want to speak without my attorney. All right. Um, <clears throat> let me uh, excuse y'all back again. All right, give us just a second. Yeah, that, that was brought to um, our attention uh, fairly recently as well. Um, the thing is, he's going to be suspended for six months from practicing. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with this case, but uh, do you have another attorney that you want to engage, or would you like for me to find a, um, a, an attor a volunteer, basically? I would like for you to find one. All right. Well, I um, had already actually the public defender's office um, had been in contact with me um, to try to find somebody without a conflict. And they have found somebody named Charles Engelberger. Um, so let me try to get in touch with him and see if he can get down here and um, consult with you. Okay. Okay. All right. So if you want to just step out for now, um, and I'll take a recess and see what I can get done. All right. I'll Mr. Cope on this in a minute, but um, the attorney is happy to help, but not available until the morning. Um, so I'm going to pass along his contact information, Mr. Copeland, and they can plan to be here in the morning. Uh, question for the state. In the meantime, do you have any witnesses that you could get here that are, you know, like hour long witnesses whose place in the story does not really matter that much? Like, I think you had some people listed as records custodians and things like that. Any chance we could fill the day with something useful while we've got the jury here? Yes, the two witnesses that we did have um, on deck to come next were similarly situated. They were um, Mr. Sledge, who was attorney, left town yesterday uh, afternoon, and Mr. Zachary, um, who, who said that he is in North Carolina. Um, right. So uh, what I'm asking is, is there a chance you can take some witnesses out of order who aren't integral to the progression of the story that you're telling, but whose testimony you need to get for, you know, whatever reason, like you've got some phone record custodians, which I don't know why y'all can't agree to that coming in anyway without a witness, but people like that. So, Your Honor, the records custodian, for the records that they have to bring in, we do not have business record certs. And so, okay. in prior discussion, I believe that the defense were going to object to those records without having the custodian. Those custodians are out of town, Your Honor. And okay. so, we would need time in order to... to All right. Them in. So, it sounds like then that we're just going to have to release the jury for the day and pick back up in the morning. Um with testimony, which doesn't mean y'all are all getting released. Maybe we can get some non-jury things done for the afternoon. But um, let's get Mr. Copeland in here. I'll give him this contact information. Then we'll get the jury in. I'll release them. Come on.
All right, Mr. Kaplan, during the break, I was able to speak with Mr. Engelberger and he is happy to represent you. I've got his name and his phone number written down on this sheet of paper, which I'm gonna to provide to you and you can call and speak with him this afternoon. And he is available um, beginning at 8.45 in the morning. So what we'll do is uh, plan to pick up there tomorrow um, with you and with him available for you. Um, and in the meantime, between now and then, you go ahead and give him a call and y'all can talk about whatever you need to talk with him about, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so um, we'll see you at uh, 8.45 tomorrow. You can give me enough time to talk with him? Yeah, you can talk with him for the next. Oh, it's not today? Yeah. Oh, so he's available? Yeah, yeah, he's available today. He'll be waiting for your call. I'm not going to have any problem with him, is it? I mean, I don't know why you should. Okay. All right. You take See care. you in the morning. Be safe. Okay, you too. Hello. All right, uh, let's get the jury in, and I'll excuse them for the day until 9 tomorrow. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have had a little bit of a um, scheduling and procedural hiccup, I guess. Um, so I am going to need to release y'all for the day.